Welcome to how to get better at golf with Manolo and with Jimmy. For beginners, amateurs, and whoever's, we're gonna show you some ways that you can watch and learn to get a lot better, a lot faster. This is important. The swing is a swing, yes, but if you think the right way, it's gonna help you a ton and get you better faster. So check it out. I'm gonna put the tee into the ground. Then, I'm going to line my golfing ball up where I would like for it to go. So I'm gonna pick what is known as an intermediate target or also known as star shake. Way out there where I want the ball to end up, I'm going to pick a spot on the ground on that same line. So if I were to do it, I would say, ah, I like this thing right there. I'm gonna try and hit a golfing ball over that spot. That's the only thing I'm gonna do and make a nice smooth swing. That's my only job to stay and play. One practice swing, two practice swing, get here, find it, smack that shit. Get my footsies parallel to that line in my eyes, and then just make a good, nasty swing. That's my only jumps. Ooh, hammered. Hold the finish, wait for it to land. That's hammered. Watch where it goes. And that's it. My job is complete. Very nice. Watch the club hit the ball. Stay balanced. And that's it. And that's it. So this is a par five. He hit driver. I don't know if you've noticed yet in your golf journey, but drivers are very hard to hit. I'm gonna hit a five iron. Five iron? That's what everybody says, five iron. But watch the result of it. Because now I can swing freely. I know I'm not gonna slice it. I know I'm not gonna hook it. I just want to hit it on the fairway out there. Give myself a chance at a second shot. I just turn back, turn forward, keep my head on the ball. Doing very little because I know that even if I hit it super well, it's not going to go very far. It's a five iron. So just hit it. Perfect. Dead flush straight, right in the middle. Feeling of greatness. And I'm alive. Pure as the driven snow. And we keep going. Mo Mr. Mo Norman. Ben Hogan, only ones in the world that can do it. Every time. Okay, so you found yourself in play. I find myself in play. Yeah. And that is the name of the game in the golf, stay in play. It's a 550 yard par five, or 500 yard, let's call it, because that's an average distance. You know what kills football teams? Penalties. You yeah. know what kills a golfing round? Penalties. Right. Out of bounds, the water, all of these things. So how can we eliminate penalties? Keep the ball in play. That's all you gotta do. That's automatically gonna get you better. That's 10 strokes around. You hit your ball out of bounds, you're not hitting three off the tee. You're gonna make seven or eight no matter what. And now it's just, you look at this one hole and say, oh my gosh, I had two of those holes in which I have 16 strokes. Yeah, on two holes. What's the point? Just keep the ball moving forward. So here we go again. And I just hit a five iron off the tee. So guess what I'm gonna hit again? Cause I'm comfortable with it. I just did it 30 seconds ago. I'm just gonna do it again. I'm going to get to the back of the ball. There's a lot of green up there. Just I hit like it on style. the grass, turn back, turn forward, keep your head on the ball. Not trying to hit it to the green, not trying to swing hard. Just trying to hit it straightish. Dead straight. That's one of the best swings I've ever seen you make. Because I'm not trying to do anything crazy. You see? You heard? I know that I can't get it there. Why? Everybody would take a three wood there and try to hit it to the green from 375,000 yards away. And that is not that remote. You don't have that. You don't practice that. That You're, you're not as yeah, good you're, as you think you might be. You're not going to get there. You're not going to get there. Now, in your mind, okay, in your mind, maybe, okay, I'm so good. I don't know. I don't know. But your mind is not the person who practices golf. Your mind is your mind. Until you practice, you're not nasty. Right. Do you know what it is? I hear you. So now you have 200 and... I see that. I got 250 right there. It's uphill. It's uphill. You know oh. what? What? You play yours. I'm going to take... Oh, you're going to be aggressive. I'm going to take a five wood. Okay. Why not? These are the weapons I choose. I'm just not going to kill it. I'm going to get a line correctly and I'm going to smack that shit. That's all I'm going to do. A line correctly and smack that shit. I see the flag good. My intermediate tarche is right there. I'm going to hit a ball over that spot with a smooth swing. That's all I'm going to do. 
Oh, you got to do it. Exactly. Okay, good. I feel <laughs> parallel good. All right. Now just watch the club hit the ball. The technology is there. Just watch the club hit the ball. Jesus, that's hammered. That's way up there. Okay. It's just left a little bit. By the, yeah, I mean, it's pin high. The golf ball went. I didn't swing out of my shoes. It's a little left, but it's okay because guess what? We didn't do anything crazy. I just put a good move on the ball. You can swing it. Just swing under control and balanced. Balanza. Yeah. Just balance. And you have another shot. I'm in play. Yeah, in play. Number one, most important. For sure. A lot of people will take this club right here, yeah. something like this, and think, that's it. I got it, yeah. I have to go Reggie Jackson. Ooh, Reggie Jackson, Mr. October. Yeah, mine. Okay, so there's 150. And look at my balls up here. So that means I have 130. Mm -hmm. It's uphill, but it's a front pin. So 130, uphill, front pin. I'm going to play it exactly at 130. I'm going to hit a smooth I pitching like wedge. There you go. Smooth pitching wedge, and I'm going to do exactly what I've been doing the last two shots. Mm -hmm. So nothing changes with the swing, only the club. Yeah, only the club. I swing this everything exactly just like this pitching wedge. I turn back, I turn forward, keep my head down, and hit the ball. There's a lot of green up there. I don't need to hit it right by the pin. So I just want to get it on the green somewhere. Nice, easy swing. Turn back, turn forward, keep your head down. That is marvelously struck. Just, just, I mean, the way you're making contact with the ball, just being smooth. Right? Because I'm, I'm taking the clubs that I can hit and continue. Like, I'm not overdoing anything. I'm not even trying to do anything. I'm just letting the club do the work. The golf ball is coming off the club face with the correct amount of spin, the correct trajectory, all because of you taking it easy. Yeah. And remember, that I said, is. I'm hitting a five iron. You said, five iron? I did. And now look, putting for birdie. Putting for birdie. Which is probably pretty close. And which a lot of human beings can relate to that right there. Boom, in play, boom, yeah. in play, boom, play. Where'd you go? Five iron, five iron, beaching wedge? Yeah, five iron. Okay, five let's iron, not drive pitching. entirely too close. I'm probably in this bunker right here. Look at you. You are tied like a tiger in there. Okay. A ver, I'm going to take two I think, golf yeah, I think clubs. you flew it way up here. Oh, yeah, I see it. It's in the bunker. Yeah. So you went driver three wood. Five wood. Five wood. Driver okay. five wood. Okay. There's my ball. There. Marvelous. Marvelous. So that's an automatic par. So I'm now I'm just like on easy street. Uh-huh. Pars are good, especially for the amateur golfer, beginner golfer. <laughs> Pars in reality are good for everybody. True. Okay, we are in the beach. Let's get out of the beach. I'm gonna take a sandwich. Why would I take a sandwich? I'm in the sand, that's why. All right, let's hit a shot. I'm not gonna do nothing crazy. I'm going to open the club face a little bit. I'm going to open my stance a little bit, lean a little bit forward, and I'm gonna hit the sand and I am not going to watch anything. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to just let the golf ball go where it goes. A lot of people like to peek and see. And that's when you start hitting the golf ball with your club. You never hit the golf ball. You smack at the side. Okay. Okay. Manolo's spring break. Manolo's spring break. Watch this. I square to the target. I open the club face. I shift my footsies. And now all I do is smack the sand with my weight a little forward. Nothing more, nothing else. That's all I do. Let's see what happens. It's good. That's out. all I'm trying to do. And man. it's safe. What do you do? You get out of the sand. You come steep, you come down, and you get the ball onto the green. It's very simple. And now you have a birdie putt. Exactly. Nothing crazy. Rake the sand, watch this, rake the sand, push it, ah, push it. Muy bien. Okay, well done. Let's look at the damage here. Two birdie putts. We'll start here. Sure. 
What do you see? What do you know? So everything was moving uphill, which means that things are probably coming back down the hill. So this thing's got to go from left to right. From what I can see, I'm going to aim at your golf ball. I'm going to hit a good putt on this line and let it move down this way. That's what I see. Okay. I also see that it's a little downhill, so I'm not going to murder it. I'm just going to put a good move on it and get it as close to the hole as I can. And let gravity do its thing. Exactly. I'm with it. I'm All right. Good. Thank you for this marker. Oh. I love that read now that I'm here. Okay. Beginners, you see the hole. You're looking at the hole and you think that you need to hit a ball to the hole. You have a straight putt to this mark. If this is your read and you're going to hit it, you have to hit it here. You can't go like this and then peek. You have to stay here and trust that your read is your read. That is one of the biggest things I see in amateur golf. You have they, to believe. They have their read, but then they like try to push it to the hole. That's not it. Right. Okay. I love it. Let's see the bird's eye view of this read. Hmm. Okay. I think that's it. And now wash my head. Wash what I do after I stroke it. Don't be now. <laughs> Muy bien. I love this. Your only job is to watch this and not picks. Wow. Very good. Do you see that? Your head's still down. It was, you can look up now. Like I was down through, I took a touch of a peak, but I'm not looking up and moving and moving. I like it. And this right here, this is nothing. This is a little baby. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's what you get. See no respect, happens? Doug. No see respect. See what happens? Don't do that. No respect. Now you just lost the hole. See what happens? And again. There you go. Keep what doing a disaster. it. Why don't you try to putt it like a like a human? I don't know. See? Why There's don't you make your birdie and show the world what I'm, it is? I'm, I don't even try to make this birdie. All I want to make sure I do is not bogey it. So I just know that it's straight downhill. It's going to be fast. Everybody's like, don't leave your buddy, birdie putt short. Guess what I'm trying to do here? I'm trying to leave this short. Because I know once it gets past the hole, it's down to Pomona. So I'm going to choke down and just love tap it. And if it's short, it's short, and I tap in a par. I don't even care. Keep my head down, though, and just tap it. <clears throat> wow. Remember when I hit a five iron off the tee and everybody said, five iron? Well, I made four, and you made nine. So, you come up here, and you neglect the things that you should do, and you do all this stuff. This is what happens. You go through his, go through your routine, do your thing, make sure you have good thoughts. Four, not what I just did. So remember that, okay? This is how you get better at golf. We're going to play some more holes. We're going to do some more stuff. So stay tuned and watch what it is that we're doing so you can get better. Learn from our mistakes and watch what Tropicana does so you can say, hey, five iron, five iron, wedge, putter, four, that's a pajarito, and that's it.